welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Kansas City Royals going up against the Chicago White Sox. John Shambi along with Chris Singleton. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring first pitch coming at you right after the break just about set to go now and today's starter, Chris Flexen. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Number 42 in the box now. No balls and a strike. Slapped foul. He's trying to protect, keep the at bat alive. And a pitch. Got it by him for the play. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Late with the swing there. Witt getting to start at shortstop, batting second in today's lineup, a former first round pick. Back in 2019. One out, base is empty. And the righty deals. Very high with that one. Gonna count one and two. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Gotta be careful with him out there on the mound. That one a little bit high, and it's two and two. It's a good take. Stays alive. And a pitch. In the air, right field. Grossman coming on. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two down. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a guy or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Foul ball there. Not close with that one, and that's ball one. Got him swinging. Royals bats are quiet there. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. 
You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here with my pal Singy getting the nod in this one. Michael Waka. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Robbie Grossman in now, takes ball one off the plate. Sliced hard, but foul. Righty delivers. And a swing and a miss. And there's one away. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there, and that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mix it up to speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. Short hop liner handled it short. Wit over to first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Paul DeYoung. Yeah, definitely someone I always enjoy, you know, when I get a chance to watch him, whether he's hitting in a game or even taking swings during batting practice. Man, this guy's always so focused on what he's doing on that task at hand. He's got so much attention to detail that when he steps in the box, his success rate is really high. Missed inside. inside, and it's one and one. <laughs> Swing and a miss, struck him out. Three up, three down, inning over. Shy Sox held in check here, scoreless after one. Back at guaranteed rate right field, and here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. Flexen back to work. Wouldn't One chase that time. And a foul ball. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. And here it comes. A little bit high, and a count two and one. Slice to right, fair ball. Here's the left fielder, MJ Melendez. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. Oh, no. Go to second and he's out. Well, this is a real momentum killer after the leadoff single. Tried to steal second base on the first pitch. Defense was all over it. Nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw. Then a quick tag before he reaches the base.
One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Well, he's been aggressive right out of the box, and a smart pitcher is going to play off of that, especially when you get to two strikes. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent, as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. All tied up here at the top of the second. Next offering misses. Now one and two. Fans don't really understand the familiarity and relationship players and coaches have with umpires. I mean, you see these guys a lot. Yeah, but these guys are all out there trying to do their best and perform at a high level. So when you respect that, I think over time, you can develop a relationship with some of these guys. He was all over that one. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Now it's the DH, Nelson Velasquez. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Ripped, but it curls foul. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. And there's a ball. Melendez leads off first with one away. And down on strikes he goes. Now two away. Here's Adam Frazier. That misses the zone. Ball one. Left hand hitter waits. Pulls that one foul. No score here in the second. Two outs. High fly ball, right field, under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Royals leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Kevin Pillar. The center fielder. Kevin Pillar. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And misses inside. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Fouls it off, still one and two. Fights it off, he'll see another. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Bows it back with two strikes. Oh, having such a tough time putting them away. Six foul balls in a row. Man, what a battle. 
And that's outside. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Tosses to first. She made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. And that's in for a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. That's to third, and he grabs it foul. Base is empty one away, bottom half of inning number two. Field two. And that's downstairs and outside. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. And that's in the dirt. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2 2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three and two. Payoff pitch. On the ground to third. Gets it to first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. The shortstop takes the ball. And that's oh, off the inside edge. Two balls, no strikes. Two down, nobody on. Ah. Two balls, one strike. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. We'll move to the third with no score. Here on the south side, now it's Hunter Renfro. The pitch. Up the middle, loves it on the dive, throws from his knees the money nice play great reaction there to get to the baseball secure it and then no time to get up and throw throws from one knee that's a guy that's got a lot of confidence in his arm strength and accuracy and now it's Kyle Isbell pitch misses there and it's one to no One down, base is empty. Ball match outside. And that one fouled off. Top of the third, no score. Hard hit, left side. DeYoung throws the first in time. And that quickly, two away. Here's the third baseman. Went down on strikes his first time through. And a foul ball.
Two outs. Right through there for a strike. And that's outside. Hit weakly on the ground. Tosses across the first. Royals set down in order. Three up, three down for him there. We head down to the home half of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here on the south side as we go to the last of the third. So now it's the White Sox DH. Corey Lee, the pitch. Inside, just missed. And he deals. And that's down it away. Line drive. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Now it's the second baseman, Zach Remillar. Waka picks over, and he's back in there. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Right hander kicks deals. Ground ball left side. Over to Frazier. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. The 5 4 3 double plays in gym and baseball. And how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy? Great work by the infield. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Out front and foul to the left side. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss. And yeah, the count is 0-2. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. And the right hander deals. That one just missing inside. And it's 2-2. Two and two. And another ball. Robbie Grossman in the on deck circle for the White Sox. 3 2 on the way. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. On to the fourth, still scoreless. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Bobby Witt Jr. The wide to kick the pitch. Right through there for a strike. All one's the count. Next pitch is downstairs. Ball. 
Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Slider got him for strike three. Now oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Kicks and fires. That yep. one outside. And that's ball two. One down, base is empty. And that drops in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. That one missed. Salvador Perez waits on deck. In for a strike. Three and two now. Got him. And to a lay down. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. And he's already singled in this game. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off left side. And a pitch. In the air, left field, down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Fourth inning underway, no score. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you gotta love this battle. Just wondering who's gonna blink first. Just outside. And that is ball one. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Quite the matchup we're seeing here. Six foul balls in this at bat alone. Really making them work out there. That one just misses. The count now two and two. And another ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. On to the bottom of the fourth now. Still with no score. And we're back, lead ready off. to go, bottom side. four. Stepping in, the, right the White Sox leadoff Robbie. man, Robbie Grossman. Grossman. The right-hander back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's what's been key. Strike two. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Witt sends it across the first, and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. And here is Sosa to the plate.
Line drive. Takes it in for the out. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Ball in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Next offering down in the dirt. And downstairs. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Three and one now. Kevin Pillar up next for the White Sox. In the air to left center. He's got it. And that is that. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. Back at guaranteed rate field. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Flexing back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Steven Wilson appears to be getting loose. Banks, a left-hander, also throwing. The pitch. That's Off the ball. mark there. Two and oh. Two balls, no play. Right through there for a strike. Left hand batter waits. And another ball. Nelson Velasquez on deck for the Royals. And a pitch. That's the third. In time to Vaughn. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So now the DH spot, Nelson Velasquez. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Ripped to short. DeYoung throws the first in time. And the first two set down on the top of the fifth. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Adam Frazier steps in for the Royals. He's controlling hey. things out there on the mound, not messing oh, around man. at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. Two outs. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Here comes a pitch. That one misses. Ball. And the count is one and two. That's inside. Bounce to the left side. Sosa. Whips it to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing doing for the Royals, and we're still knotted at zero.
here on the south side. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the center fielder, Kevin Pillar. The wind in the pitch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Now oh, there's a three pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Left fielder. And here. Benintendi up here. 0 for 1 so far. Way Down high with that one. Ball one. center now only two hits allowed so far tonight Boog. so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much you know he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long and now the shortstop Paul the young he's over for one Safe at third. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Here's Corey Lee. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. First pitch, not close. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Close nope. one doesn't get the call, and it's two and zero. Oh. That clips the corner. The winning run at third. Last half of inning number five. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch with the best. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strikeout there. Definitely a strikeout situation right there, and he got it. You do not want him to put the ball in play and want to strand that runner at third. Now all he needs is one more out to get it. Doesn't have to be a strikeout this time since now they're two outs. Now the batter now, Zach Remelar, right through there for a strike. Benintendi at third to Young. On at first with two down. Pitch misses inside. And the count even one and one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here on the south side. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. The 
pitch. That ball one misses. Ball. And that's ball one. Man at second. That one finds the zone. And a count one and one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Righty to the plate. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And a one-two. And another ball. Bell waiting for a turn at the plate. Three two down. That one is absolutely belted. Out of here. His second of the year. It's two nothing. Those are the at bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. pitch he wanted to hit spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very patient and it paid off here comes the skipper and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot Chris Flexen out of the game two run ball game as he heads for the dugout and we'll be back with a new pitcher New pitcher for the White Sox, Steven Wilson. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Isbell, grounded out to short in his first trip. Close, but call the ball. 1 and 0. Oh. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And the 1 0. There's a the strike. The 1 1 is fouled off. The one two on a line base hit. So now back to the top of the order. Up next to the Warriors. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Number 42, the next to hit, takes outside. High fly ball, shallow right field. Grossman makes the grab one down. Up next to the Royals, the shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr. Man at first, Bobby Witt Jr. now at the plate. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Dominic Leone, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Still only one out here in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. A 
On the ground to third. Fires to second for one. And it's a double play to end the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Royals 2 and the White Sox nothing. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Martin Maldonado. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. He was late there, strike one. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. And that one fouled off. Swing and a high fly ball, deep left field. That's back. And out of here. He'll take a jog around the bases. His first homer of the year, and we have a tie ball game. It's 2-2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the lock, and gets the home run. Now it's Robbie Grossman. Just missed. And a pitch. Fall off foul. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Off the mark there, and it's two and one. Nobody on, nobody out. A pair of runs across in the inning here in extra innings. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The third baseman. So digging in, Lennon Sosa. Right through there for a strike. Oh and one. And a foul ball left side. Hit to right. Renfro getting an angle on him. He's got it. Two down. The, battle, the first baseman, Andrew. Andrew Vaughn now. That one fouled off. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in here in the bottom of the sixth. Ball, ball one there. I got a ball, one strike. Right. 
Foul ball still a one and two count. Two down, nobody on. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Two runs on one hit, the two-run homer. We're through six full. We are tied 2-2. We go to the top of the seventh and to the play for Kansas City. Vinny Pasquantino. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. At the belt and fires. I got one ball, one strike. Yeah, I think part of that goes into it's just so hard to come up with hits. In today's game, starters don't go deep, and so hitters are seeing multiple pitchers every night, and that makes it more challenging just to come up with a single. Man, it's second. Swung on, belted. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. As they jump ahead, a run scores. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets in the scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. And now the catcher comes up to him. Salvador Perez, one for two. That one way inside. The pitch turned on, but foul wide of third. The one, two. A little bit low. Boog, I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two strike pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Here's the left fielder, M.J. Melendez. In the air, out towards right center. Should have this one. Two down. Now batting, designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. And next is the designated hitter, Nelson Velasquez. And that's outside. And that is ball one. Runner at second, two down. Here in the top half of inning number seven. And a good eye there. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Man on second, two down. That one finds the corner, and it's two and one. And he deals. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Two outs. Line drive, Adam in center field. 
So one run on one hit, no errors, and a runner left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Royals three and the White Sox two. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, James MacArthur. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Now here's the cleanup hitter for the White Sox, Kevin Pillar. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. The pitch. Not well, even close there. Ball one. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. So the tying run at second. Nope. Just missed. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Kicks and deals. And that's ball four. Ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Rip to first, caught to second with the throw and no chance to get back. It's a double play. The back, the shortstop. Paul so they're down to their final out. So up next for Chicago, Paul DeYoung. Yeah, that skips in the dirt. With the winning run at the plate, here at the bottom of the seventh. Next okay, pitch is outside. Ball. That's, That's down and in. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Corey Lee hitting on deck circle. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. White Sox down a run. They're the home team trying to pull it out. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. MacArthur is just one strike away. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do there, Bull. That keeps this inning alive and gives this offense a good chance to cut into their deficit. So two down. Next is the designated hitter, Corey Lee. Down to their final out, but an opportunity to deliver the tying and maybe even a winning run. Swing and a miss, strike one. Hold one's the count. Next inside. pitch inside. One ball, one strike. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. Misses the zone and he gets him to chase. Well, if he's going to do strikes. something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Next offering is downstairs. Big spot. 